Hi everybody, it's Andrea, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to do something I never do. I'm going to give you a tentative TBR for the month of March. Now, I don't normally do a TBR because I find it very hard to stick with them. I am somewhat of a mood reader. I'm just sorting the books out. But I do have a few books here that I want to try and read in March. Now, there's only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in this pile. These are the ones I definitely... <coughs> not something my throat, want to get to but the first one I'm going to show you and this, this is book eight is one that I'm going to start but I don't I'm definitely not going to complete read it in March because it's that big and it is <coughs> uh, Jack Thripper the ultimate compendium of legacy and legend of history's most notorious killer fact fiction and le legend selected by Otto Penzler Otto runs the mysterious bookshop in New York and this is very big. I started reading this uh, last night and I've read the first section, the first story. And that's what I'm going to do. It's every now and again I'm going to pick it up and just read a little bit. So it's not going to get finished in March but I just wanted to show you that I am, I am starting this huge book as well. Now on to the two definites that I will be reading in March. That is my classic and my Stephen King. My classic of the month is Frankenstein by Mary Shelley and I have this lovely penguin cloth, cloth bound classic. And for Stephen King, I have got If It Bleeds, which is a novella. Uh, it is a, a collection of three novellas uh, featuring various people. I featured it in one of my hauls. Um, it's, it's the first Holly Gibney story without Bill Hodges, so it comes after the End of Watch series. Oh, sorry, my throat's sore. Um, so basically the very first one just says, following a horrific explosion at school, Holly Gibney of Finders Keepers Detective Agency notices something sus suspicious about the TV reporter who was first on the scene. In this riveting story, Holly sets out to discover what he is hiding in her first solo case. There we go. So I'm looking forward to that because I'm trying to read Stephen King and a classic every month. <clears throat> now I have a very tiny book here, it's a play. You would have seen it in my haul. It is The Unremarkable Death of Marilyn Monroe by Elton Townend Jones. It is so thin. <clears throat> I thought I might as well just read it and get it done out of the way. But I might not get to it. It, it just depends. I want to be in the mood to read the play. The next one I am definitely going to be getting into is Two Doors Away by Elle Spellman. Elle is a friend of mine. Uh, I used to work with her and she's brilliant. She was in, lives uh, over the bridge in a fantastic city I was born in. Um, again, this was on my last haul about two people who live <coughs> two doors away from each other and the house in between. Um, they're both lonely, they haven't got any friends or many friends. He's living in a house share, she's moved there and trying to be successful but it's failing. And in between uh, is this house, number 26, and they hear music, the piano being played there, and it sort of helps with their loneliness. And then one day the music stops and they set out together to investigate what happened. And it brings them together. And I think it's probably going to be a bit of a romance. Uh, next is The Reader on the 627. Again, you saw this on my other one about this guy who works in a book pulping a factory and he sneaks home a few pages and reads them to travellers on the same train on the way home and then he discovers the diary of a young woman named Julia I think her name is Julie Julie who's as lost as he is and that's when his journey really begins I like this it's got trains it's got books who couldn't want any more I love trains this is only going to be a very quick video because I have got tons to do tonight and it's 10 o'clock already Next is another MJ Aldridge one. This is Liar Liar. I've read Eeny Meeny a lot long ago and I really enjoyed it. So this is uh, what, uh, book three, I think, or four in the Helen Grace one. Uh, in the dead of night, three raging fires light up the city skies. It's more than a tragic coincidence for D.I. Helen Grace. The flames announce the arrival of an evil she has never encountered before. Because this is no fire starter seeking sick thrills, but something more chilling. A series of calculated acts of murder. But why were the victims chosen and what is driving the killer and who will be next? A powder keg of fear, suspicion and dread has been laid and now all it needs is a spark to set it off. Sounds good. And I have one non-fiction book in the pile. There may be more later. I have got a huge stack of books which you can't see on my night table which are the ones that I will be pulling if I read these. Or I might be pulling them off this shelf at the back here. They're all TBR. And then I've got my big TBR at the top. So there's books everywhere. But I want to read Witchfinders. 
a 17th century English tragedy by Malcolm Gaskill. So this um, is about the English witch trials. So by the spring of 1645, civil war had exacted a terrible toll upon England. Disease was rife, apocalyptic omens appeared in the skies and idolaters were detected in every shire. In a remote corner of Essex, two obscure gentlemen began interrogating women suspected of witchcraft triggering the most brutal witch hunt in English history. Witchfinders is a spellbinding study of how Matthew Hopkins, the Witchfinder General, and John Stern extended their campaign across East Anglia driven by godly zeal, exploiting the anxiety and lawlessness of the times and cheered on by ordinary folk they extracted confessions of satanic packs resulting in schools of executions. So yeah, quite, I think that's gonna be quite scary. I've read, uh, you know, quite sad. I have read one about the Salem Witch Trials, so I thought I'd do uh, English Witch Trials next. So those are the books I'm definitely going to be reading in March. Um, I will read that play and obviously a bit of the Ripple one. I do have a load more books here including Paula Hawkins, Melissa Nethers, Peter James, Karen Rose, Karen Slaughter and more there that I can pick up at any time if I finish these. I think I probably will. I have already finished two books uh, books this month and it's what, the second? Second? Yeah, the second. So I'm already two for two. Was it? No, I'm three for two actually. Because um, I, uh, I finished the e-book I was reading. I finished a book I've been reading since last year and I have finished a book that I've had on the go for ages but I couldn't find it. And now I haven't finished it. Yeah, that's it. I hope you've enjoyed that. <laughs> Um, and I look forward to sharing my thoughts on these books in my wrap-up at the end of March and I'll see you then. Bye everybody!